Welcome back, folks. This is Athletes Incorporated. Check us on Roku TV, IBTV.us, and YouTube. Comment, subscribe, like what we got going on. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and all the future mothers out there. I know there's a lot of pregnant women as well. Uh, this is our special Mother's Day edition, and um, I just kind of want to put you on the spot, Harold. Um, what does Mother's Day mean to you? Well, first, say Happy Mother's Day to all, all the mothers out there. Um, just Mother's Day is day to celebrate our mothers and anyone that uh, was in that um, uh, form of mothering people, uh, teachers that you had who were, who were female, coaches that you had who were female, neighbors, lots and lots of women uh, uh, were in that mothering mode for, for, uh, for all of us, male and female. So happy Mother's Day then, that's what it means for me. Just really celebrating mothers and what they've done and what they've meant to everyone's lives. Right. Well, I totally agree with that. Um, kind of piggyback on what you said. Um, growing up, I had more than one mother. So it was, it's really great to celebrate them all. And um, we've got a lot of great athletic mothers as well, which we're going to touch on later on. But starting out, I want to talk a little bit about the NBA and what's going on. Um, the first uh, conference finals games are today. West, uh, it's the Eastern Conference. It's actually the Boston Celtics. And... The um, Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers. They start at one thirty Mountain Time. So, what mm -hmm. do you think about just what's going on overall with that? Well, uh, Boston's still too young, okay. but they're going to give uh, Cleveland a good run for the money. Uh, Cleveland seems to be gelling right here at the at the right time. Mm -hmm. LeBron's getting some help from people. Um, and they're allowing him to play the game and to run the game. So. There's no one that's fighting for the ball or no one that doesn't know their role right. on the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, that and the experience that they have, they've been here, they know what to do, um, will get them over the hump. I say at the very best, uh, you could give uh, Boston two games, but 4-2 it'll it'll, would be the very longest. So I wouldn't be so surprised. six games. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, they, if it went, uh, you know, five games. Um, you know, you have uh, with Boston, a young team, they're playing great even without Kyrie Irving. And Jordan, uh, Jake, um, Jordan Howard. Right. Yeah, so. And what was the young man who broke his ankle? That was, the, first that's the name is Jordan. Uh, yeah, he's, he, he, he's he would have meant a whole lot to the team too. Uh, they have J uh, Jason Tatum, who's my pick for rookie of the year. So he's playing really great. Um, but still, they, they, they just don't have enough. You know, I, I don't really know, what, to be honest with you folks, I don't really know what to think about this series. Um, I don't really see how they match up, who matches up better. I do know LeBron James is, without a doubt, the best player in the NBA and embarking on the best player in NBA history. You know, yeah. top five. He's going to be on that Mount yeah. Rushmore. What I can tell you is I really like Brad Stevens as a coach. Mm -hmm. He's he's done a great job coaching the Boston Celtics. He's the best young coach. He's yeah. the best young coach, and you know what? You know who he kind of reminds me of Jerry Sloan. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I don't know what to think. But I know by one thirty we're going to find out. By the first game, we're going to know how the series is going to go, kind of the posturing, how everything's going to go. So, um, <laughs> well, you don't have to wait till one thirty. I'm telling you already. <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland, there's well, no way. And, but you know, it's, it's the first two games are in Boston. Boston was a higher seed. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. What if Boston goes out and they they beat them both times at home? Then it changes, but I don't think that's going to happen. They'll they split? Uh, they'll be lucky to split. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised for them. If, if they sweep them at home, then we're talking about a sweep completely. I, I said that they'll probably split, and then they'll go back home with those two, then come back to 3-1 to win that one, okay. and then end up 4-1. to that, That's what I think will happen. Um, now, over on, over on the western side, and we got Houston, and we've got the Warriors, and the Warriors are gonna drag Houston. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even yeah. know how. And, and see, I, 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 I disagree. I think, Houston, I, I think it's gonna be a good series. Well, history shows yeah. that Houston doesn't do well at, in bright right. moments. Yeah, so, so I, I'm thinking this, this would be their time. I know it does say that James Harden doesn't play that well when the when it, that final bright right. light right. comes on. But he Chris Paul's there, so it changes. Chris Paul's things. there, so now he doesn't feel that kind of pressure. And he's also been letting them, they thought that him and Chris Paul were going to be able to share the ball. Right. He's going to let Chris Paul take it over. 
Right. So if they don't win it this time, they're going to blame it on Chris Paul. <laughs> they're not <laughs> going to blame it on James Harden. Right. Uh, James Harden is my pick for uh, a most valuable player. Right. So here you have the most valuable player, and you have a Hall of Famer with uh, uh, Chris Paul. Um, it's going to be a good season. Right. And there's a lot of actually great role players, folks, on the Rockets. Trevor Ariza is rocking. Um, they've got a lot of great players over there in Houston. And then everybody knows who the Warriors have. Yeah. Draymond, Clay, Curry, KD. Yeah, and it seems mm -hmm. like, you know, Curry is getting healthy mm -hmm. just at the right time. Right. And there's still the thing with, with the Warriors, why they would you'd have to pick them odds on favorite to win the whole thing, mm -hmm. is they still don't seem to have the ego problems that other teams have that would have that kind of firepower. Um, well, they, if you th think about the personalities, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, KD could be the best player in the world if he had a LeBron James personality, but he's not. He's not really that guy, and that's why he left the Thunder because Russ was that guy, and yeah. KD was like, "No, I just want to. All we got to play ball." KD's been trying to do that because this year he's been put out of more games and has more technical yeah. fouls, and that's not really him. Right. He doesn't have to try to prove he's a tough guy because he's he's really not. Right. He's a finesse basketball player. Right. A phenomenal once in a generation type player, so you know. But I, it's going to be hard uh, for Houston to, to win more than two games. But I think I think it's, there's going to be some really really close games yeah. with them, closer than Boston and Celtics. The difference will be, man. Even when Houston knows, or they, you, or we, the fans and stuff, the people start feeling the game's over. Houston will continue to play hard. Right. Uh, Boston is still so young. That when the game starts getting a little bit out of they'll hand, just, they'll they'll start to go right. down because they just don't have anyone who's been there before. Right. Uh, although they, uh, Boston to me has the best coach. Yeah, of the Brad, Steve, four. Brad Stevens is an amazing. Is, coach. is the best coach. Yeah. Uh, the thing that you have to give uh, uh, Steve Kerr for uh, he didn't change anything no. when he took over. Right. He just let he just let it run. Right. Yeah, he just let, let it roll. And, you know, he's, he's letting the people play. He didn't change anything. He didn't come try to make his stamp and all that kind of stuff. Mark Jackson set, set the path for him. He's like, yeah, let him play. Yeah. So he just really hit baby with that. Uh, when you look at uh, then Houston and, uh, and of course, we you know Tyron Lou. Uh, Tyron Lou, he, he, he doesn't really coach. It's, it's really he's the one for the ride. He's the bus yeah. driver. Yeah. <laughs> and, and LeBron is really the player right. coach. Real quick, because we're running mm -hmm. out of the time. Um, I want to ask you this question. So let's just say we're just going to go ahead and say Cleveland's going to the finals, okay? Who's a better matchup for the Cavs to win? Oh, of course. The, the, the Cavs would jump on Houston and beat them like a drum. Okay. But that's not going to happen. But now let's, say, now let's say somehow it does happen. Does LeBron stay in Cleveland if they win another ring? I believe if, if they win another ring, that's Cleveland's best and only chance to keep LeBron. Okay. Because then it would be kind of hard to leave. Okay. If they don't win it, then there's still going to be the up in the air about what we're going to do. If they brought in Kawhi Leonard mm -hmm. or Paul George. Uh, Paul George, he might stay in Cleveland. Okay. But I, I don't think they want to come to Cleveland. Okay. So um, they're going to have to win in order to keep him there. But believe it or not, man, if they play the uh, Warriors, I, I say it's a toss-up, man. I say it's a toss-up. And the other people are going to have the Warriors really coming out, blasting them, mm-mm. It's going to be a toss-up because I think in these games, and like we said, you know, the best indication of what's going to happen is what has That's happened. happened. Yeah. And in these situations, Draymond Green kind of loses his mind. Nine. Yeah, he so does. he might get suspended for a game or and two. And he's had the most technical. And both of they both him and Katie have had the most yeah. technicals. If they get one more technical, they're yeah. going to get suspended so for a game, folks. So that's they're going that's, to be pushed. That's happening too. That that would be a, and then well and then, and then put it this way: if if the Cleveland Cavaliers win the World Championship this year, this solidifies in my mind. That LeBron James is the greatest. Yeah. He is the GOAT. And I don't care what anybody else, you know, they can bring all these other things. He is the GOAT. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, you, you have to give it to him, man. He, he's carrying this team. He's playing more minutes. He's he's really doing it. And not only is the GOAT, but he's actually the most, um, he hasn't been injured a whole lot. He's the most reliable. Yeah. yeah. You know. yeah he hasn't had full seasons off. Yeah. Well, but, we're going to close up, folks. You heard it here first. It's going to be the Cavs and the Warriors in the finals. 
So um, check us out on our next segment. We're going to be talking about a lot of different sports, NHL, MLB, and a little bit of softball as well. So, yes, yeah,